blog.com for everything real community related real community blog com. Happy Monday. Every Monday, we're live with you right here on YouTube. And again, when we're not here, we're over at RoyalCommandBlog.com, but we're here to answer your cruise questions, starting with the most important question, which is how many days till your next Royal Caribbean cruise? Type your countdown in chat. Let's count down together. I've got my next cruise in less than a month going on the serenade of the seas to Alaska. We're going to do a back-to-back. Super excited for that one. Can't wait. Um, I'm, it's coming just at the right time because summer is starting to come here in Florida and I could use a break from the heat. So welcome everybody. Uh, Shannon, 76 days till the Royal Caribbean blog group cruise. Woohoo! Love that. We also have a number of super chats coming in, although I just missed like two of them. What happened? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry to somebody did it before the stream. Uh, Shane Taylor with the first super chat. Uh, Shane writes first super chat from Australia, 712 days. Till next cruise on Wonder, I was wondering how long before a cruise does beverage and dining packages appear on the cruise planner? Um, it's a great question. It depends. There is no set answer. Shane, thank you for the super chat. Basically, you have to keep checking back. You've got way, you got a long, long, long time to go. I wouldn't even start checking until about six months or so. Somewhere in between there, six to nine months, you'll start seeing the cruise planner purchases available. Also, our next super chat is an epic super chat from Josh Carruthers. Thank you, Josh. 76 days to the Rogan Blog group cruise on Mariner. July 17th, possibly something more a little sooner in about 27 days or so. I wonder what that could be. Oh, it's the Tony, you're cruising with Tony Diaz. Love it. Josh, thank you, buddy, for the super chat. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Carrie wants to know, what is the best specialty dining on Ovation of the Seas? Boy, I mean, I'm partial to Izumi uh, personally. You know, some people might say Chops. Uh, Jamie's Italian is fantastic. Kind of depends what you're in the mood for. Um, but if you're asking my opinion, I pick Azumi. Jillian, thank you for the super chat. Taking a closed loop cruise, which by the way, if you don't know what that means, closed loop means it begins in one port, ends in the same port. Um, in this case, the United States. Anyway, don't have passports. Can we check in early through the app or do we have to wait on the ship for our birth certificates and driver's license? Thank you. You're, you're going to be able to do, you're still able to do the check-in early, Jillian. The thing is you will not be able to do the full extent of it. Um, you can still enter your information in there, but you're still going to have to bring it over there. So do the check-in. It's still very much uh, open to you. Um, I've never actually done the online check-in with a birth certificate, but it does allow you to complete the online check-in. There'll be an option in your documents which one you're going to choose. You'll choose birth certificate. And obviously, make sure, Jillian, that you're bringing the original birth certificate with the raised seal, not a photocopy, not a reproduction, not a copy even from the hospital. The You need a raised seal on there. So make sure you have that there. Uh, lots of countdowns coming up here. Love it. Faith has got a cruise in 34 days. Does Royal Caribbean accept CVS COVID tests? Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Uh, Mike Pastore, hello and welcome. And by the way, for the CVS one, doesn't matter which one you get. I recommend the rapid antigen test if you're fully vaccinated, but, you know, to each their own. Uh, Garrett, is there a number of the COVID at home test rapid other than the Abbott EMED? Uh, that's 186 for five tests, six tests, actually. Um, the, the jury is still out, Garrett. There are other proctored tests um, that are done at home. I can't tell you with hundred percent confidence that they'll be accepted or not. I can tell you the Abbott one will. So for what that's worth, there's my answer for you. Mike Wolf. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, greetings from the Wolf kitchen, 34 days till Oasis. Thank you. Wolf family. Appreciate you guys. Uh, Matt Smith. Uh, we finally got onto Oasis. It's amazing on this week and next. Very nice. Very nice. I approve. That's awesome. Back to backs fantastic m edwards wants to know is the key worthwhile i don't think so we've done some videos here on our channel check them out as to why i don't think the key is worthwhile simply put m edwards i just think it sounds better than it really is you're reading it and you're like matt how can you possibly be against this except it just sounds better than it really is in practice it's not nearly as lucrative as it sounds thus i don't recommend it jason thank you for the super chat 11 days till cruise 10 till flight nine till at home test all right everybody got that at home keeping score Love that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Vinny wants to know what are Tony Diaz's favorite numbers on roulette? Tony strikes me as the kind of guy that would bet on double zero, like betting on zero and double zero. I just can't never bring myself to do that. I just do. It's just, ugh, I don't know, but he seems Tony strikes me as that guy. <laughs> uh, Lori wants to know, is real company something Nat rapid adapt through Walgreens? Yes, they do. If you're fully vaccinated. Absolutely. Uh, Gene, thank you for the super chat, Gene. Holy moly, not just thank you, an epic super chat. Ooh, 
Thank you, Gene. You gave me great pointers. My first roller coaster cruise. Met my girlfriend on that cruise. How awesome is that? Love is in the air. How cool. I, I mean, I don't know that we gave relationship advice in any of my live videos here or any videos here on the channel, but I'll take credit for it anyway. <laughs> That's awesome. I, I, I'm glad you had an awesome time on board the ship. That's fantastic. Ninja Ride wants to know, are there any rooms available left on the group cruise? There are indeed Ninja Ride. You're going to book, though, pretty darn soon because prices ain't going down by any means. Contact MEI Travel. Actually, Ninja Ride will make it really easy for you. Just go to rollgreenblog.com. There's a giant yellow form. Fill that out. They will contact you. Uh, let's see here. Uh, next question is from Robert. Uh, 34 days to Liberty. I did check in in the app, but already no check-in times are showing yet at the terminal. Is that unusual? Yeah, usually when you can do online check-in, there are times there. Um, Robert, in the app, maybe you know this. I'm just going to reiterate the obvious. You know, there's the there's a couple different sections. First is the general information. And then when you're finished with that, so you put your passport in front of all that. And then there's another one for check-in time. Make sure you, you're on that one because I don't know if I've ever seen that particular scenario where you can do the other stuff but not the check-in time. Uh, if nothing else, maybe go on the website and try to do it via the Royal Caribbean website as well. That's an option. State Nate, thank you for the super chat. First Royal Caribbean cruise in the books. Oasis was great. Couldn't have done it without Royal Caribbean blog on the next Odyssey February 23. That is fantastic. Thank you for your generosity. Nate, I'm so glad to hear you. An awesome time on the Oasis of the Seas. Awesome stuff right there. Jeremy wants to know, uh, Matt, check the super chat an hour and a half ago. Yeah, Jeremy, I'm sorry. Um, I don't have them. So before the stream started, I I saw them. There were two that I'm missing. I know that. The problem is when I started the stream, YouTube gives me a list of all of them, and the first two are gone. So I apologize to whoever those people were. Um, just type it in chat and let me know that you were one of those. There's two people that are missing their super chats, and I want to make sure I get their questions. So I apologize. Brian Watson, have you tried Samba Grill? I have not, but uh, one of our writers, um, Allie, who's on Radiance of the Seas right now, that was one of the questions. Somebody asked me if I was in Alaska. I am not. Allie's on, in Alaska on Radiance of the Sea. She's doing a live blog, Brian. And she tried it out. Uh, Samba Grill is the Brazilian steakhouse. And she said it was amazing. She really liked it. So there you go. I mean, uh, next opportunity I have, I'm definitely going to try it out myself. Keith, any days to report day at Cape Canaveral, depart from Cape Liberty in November on Anthem. NASA, Kennedy Space Center is where you want to go. That's definitely the thing to do there. Uh, next question is from... House broken. I don't know my voice cracked there. Uh, Carnival has guava juice. Does Royal Green have the same? I don't even uh, know. I mean, is it like straight up like guava? No, they have other juices, but fresh squeezed and otherwise. But I don't believe they have guava. So, um, yeah. Next question. Lots of great questions here so far. Jared Burns. Jared, thank you for the super chat. If you buy a drink internet combo package or the key, does that include internet for each person or is it just one device? for the cabin, great question. Um, in the case of the drink internet combo, it's per person. So each package includes one. So Jared, if you bought the key for everybody in your room, everybody will have a single device internet package, ditto for the drink internet combo for anyone that you buy that from. Edwin, if your check-in is 11.30, realistically what time can you get on board? It really depends on a variety of factors, but if you do everything ahead of time, Edwin, you do everything in the app. You've got those green check marks there, you're gonna breeze right through in a matter of minutes. I mean, it might be as short as 10 minutes, quite frankly, it's really easy, so. Diane J, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. I'm planning to do a BOGO free specialty uh, dining deal for Diamond Plus. How do I do that when I'm on board or reserve ahead of time? Great question. So if you have Diamond Plus, it's awesome benefit is you get actually a BOGO deal at specialty restaurants where you pay for one and then get another reservation at either that or a different specialty restaurant for 50% off, which is a really good deal out there. Um, or it's buy one, get one free. Excuse me. It's buy one, get one free. So it can be a really good deal. You know, basically you and someone else can eat for free in one of the restaurants, which is great. Um, basically what you do, Diane, is when you, you can't book in advance, kind of like having a dining package, you simply go to the, re the restaurant, make a reservation, just let them know when you check in for the meal, Hey, or, or your waiter, probably let your waiter know we have the diamond Bo plus BOGO deal. They'll have no problem with it at all. And you'll be good to go in terms of being able to use it. So you make the reservation just like anything else. But when the check comes, you let them know, Hey, I've got the diamond plus and they'll take it off there. Uh, Nikki, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a message from you, Nikki, but I'm going to keep an eye out. Sometimes the messages come separately here. Oh, there it is. Here's Nikki's question. Wondering about the smaller ships to Alaska. Any experience with wor with worsened motion sickness? Trying to decide between Radiance and Ovation. So I'm actually trying Serenade of the Seas, which is the same class as Radiance, uh, to Alaska 
this summer, uh, Nikki. I'm going up there in a little less than a month. So I don't know if uh, when you're looking to book this, but if you have a little bit of time, I can let you know. You know, here's the reality, Nikki. Um, don't forget, is to answer your question, there is not inherently more or less motion sickness from one ship to another, regardless of the size. The, the sensation of motion sickness comes from, well, the motion in the ocean, right? The more movement in the ocean, well, ships are going to rock back and forth, and it you know, depends on the wind, uh, the direction the seas are coming from, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You know, all cruise ships have stabilizers. So you don't have to worry too much about that, but stabilizers aren't the end-all be-all what makes it, you know, not have any motion sickness. But here's what I would tell you, Nikki. No, there is not an inherent um, benefit, you know, or advantage to going with one or the other in terms of motion sickness. Obviously, a bigger ship requires more movement to move, uh, you know, compared to a smaller ship. This is simple physics, right? But if the ocean is going crazy, or not crazy, but if the ocean is moving, you're going to feel it on both ships, right? Um, my advice to you is I wouldn't be pre too preoccupied with that. I certainly would not use that as which ship you should book or not book. I would look at it as look at, you know, the ports you're going to, the itinerary, pricing, things of that nature. And then if you end up, regardless, if you're worried about getting seasick, my advice is always, you know, bring proper uh, medication or, um, or, or or remedies for seasickness. So that way you're prepared because there's no guarantee. I've been on plenty of Oasis class ships where it was really rocky. So let's keep that in mind. Uh, let's see. Raindrop has our next question. Hey, Matt, I just want to say thanks for all the tips and information. I went to Independence about two weeks ago. I want to know if you could do a video or a full of a full review or Cocoa Beach Club. We've definitely done the Cocoa Beach Club review on royalcreamblog.com. You know, it's pricey, but I got to tell you, it's a wonderful experience. I don't think anyone ever walks out of the Cocoa Beach Club and says, you know, that really wasn't like a fun time. Whether or not it's worth, you know, $200 a person, that's a great debate that we can all have here. But I will tell you this much. The Cocoa Beach Club always impresses. I love the, the food at the restaurant is bar none, the best island food anywhere. And more importantly, it rivals specialty restaurants on the cruise ship. It's that good. And we're not talking about burgers and hot dogs here. We're talking filet mignon, lobster, chicken. I mean, it is just chef's kiss that darn good. Uh, then you've got the infinity pool, which I absolutely love. I'm a pool guy more than a beach guy. The area is really, you know, they have, they, they keep the, the crowds lowered. I love the cabanas over there. So um, I can't tell you that it's, you know, one person's worth is another one's not, but I don't think the experience uh, disappoints in any way, but we do have reviews of the Cocoa Beach Club at Royal Caribbean blog.com. Andrew, thank you for the super chat. Are there any limits on dining when in star class? Uh, no, the only limits per se, Andrew, is um, Starbucks food is not included. So, like, if you go to the Starbucks kiosk on board and there's, like, a muffin or something, that's not included. I don't know. It's weird because it's Starbucks. Don't worry about it. But restaurants, especially restaurants, included. Complimentary, obviously included. So, yeah, it's pretty good. And don't forget, don't worry, the Starbucks drinks are included with Star Class. It's not the food, which can seem a little weird at times, so. Uh, ah, Kevin O'Donnell was the other super chatter. Kevin, I apologize. It's not my, I mean, it's not my fault, but I'll take, it's still my fault. Anyway, uh, 11 days navigator, uh, any group cruises for next year? Yes, Kevin, we already have one group cruise. For, we have one group cruise for 2023 and one group cruise for 2024 already announced, uh, for the 2023 group cruise. I'm pulling it up now. So I don't get the dates wrong on this one. Navigator of the seas, June 16th, 2023. And then, uh, 2024, we're doing a Panama Canal cruise on Rhapsody of the Seas, March 16th. More information, I know, Kevin, you're like, wait, what was that? RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com slash events. RoyalCaribbeanBlog.com slash events. Uh, Michelle is checking in from the Harmony of the Seas, not living up to the hype. I'm sorry to hear that. Hope you have a great time nonetheless. Um, I'd, you know, if you'd love to hear what didn't live up to the hype. But, you know, hype is just that. It's hype. I hope it delivers a great cruise experience where you're having fun times checking in different things out, but um, still better to be on a cruise than at home. Remember that. It could be worse. It could be at work. <laughs> so, uh, Sports Mike wants to know, what is my favorite thing, excursion in Bermuda? Horseshoe Bay. It's the Pink Sand Beach in Bermuda. Really good time over there. I like that quite a bit. Uh, Shannon, thank you for the, oh, not even close. Not even close. I mean, there was an SH, so it was kind of close. All right. Shoshana, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the super chat, Shoshana. Hey, Matt, love your vlog. Getting conflicting information if reservations are needed in Adventure Ocean. They're not. Uh, going on Oasis in July and trying to plan. Yeah, they, they needed them earlier on, um, uh, earlier on this year. But as of late February, they've gotten rid of that. 
So you do not need reservations for Adventure Ocean. You need something to sign your kids up. That registration was always a thing required even before the pandemic, but you don't, they're, they're not doing the uh, limited capacity anymore. So that's like a whoo, much, much better uh, situation right there. Lisa wants to know a perfect day, Coco Key. Are the lockers free by Oasis Lagoon? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Um, next. Oh, wow. We've got an epic super chat coming in from Sharon Stockman. Oh, thank you, Sharon. Finally made it to a live. Been dealing with a sick mother. I'm so sorry, Sharon. Actually, at ER with her now. Oh, no. Well, I'm really glad you're here, but my goodness. I mean, take care of mom. I hope mom feels better. Gosh, that's, I mean, you don't have to ever apologize for not being here, especially for family emergencies like that. Goodness gracious. Uh, that's way more important, but thank you for your generosity. And uh, please let mom know that I want her to get better so you can take her on a cruise. I don't know if she wants, maybe she doesn't cruise at all. But anyway, <laughs> if she doesn't like cruising, Sharon, tell her, uh, I hope she gets better so you can go do whatever it is she enjoys. I give you free uh, 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 poetic license to change what that will be. Motivate her in the right way. But thank you so much, Sharon, for your generosity. It is good to see you again. Uh, Brookie wants to know, do you still have to do COVID tests before your cruise? Yes. Uh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. That has not changed. Uh, Gloria wants to know, what are you looking forward to the most on Alaska? Oh, definitely exploring. I love the scenery. And I think this time around, we're trying to do more like, I want to call it hiking. Because hiking like infers like, you know, like, I, I think we all this like idea that I'm going to go like climb a mountain. No, I'm going to take leisurely walks in the in, in in the in the scenic rustic uh um uh hills of alaska and i'll be taking lots of photos and i think it'll be fun to do that's what i'm looking forward to and not being hot not being hot looking forward to that as well uh next question is from uh chad who's leaving for a cruise in a week uh, there's a virtual passport app for canada that was surprised what should i be most excited for on this last cruise oh uh, definitely what i just said chad the, I mean, everyone tells you it's beautiful and you're like, yeah, whatever. I mean, yeah, you believe me, but you got to see it for yourself. You should be excited for the absolute beauty of Alaska and try to maximize your time on land to see as much as you can of it. Cause it's really, really, uh, beautiful, quite frankly. Uh, when will Oasis of the Seas be in New York? She's on her way right now, Andrew. So wish granted she's heading up there as we speak. Angela Baker. Thank you for the super chat. When do shore excursions go up in the Royal Caribbean app for purchase before embarking on a cruise? By the way, thanks for all you do. Thank you very much, Angela. Uh, thank you for your super chat. I appreciate you as well. Um, there is no set date, Angela. It's not like, oh, X amount of days beforehand, it'll be there. I tell people usually between six and nine months ahead of time, somewhere in that ballpark, they'll magically show up there. So you never know. Jay Smith, thank you for the super chat. Just got back from Oasis, my first cruise. Thank you for your advice. I didn't get seasick, for, uh, got my room in Central Park. What ship would you recommend I try next? Odyssey of the Seas. Try that out, Jay. I'm so glad to hear you had an awesome time on the Oasis. And uh, awesome. Your first cruise, and you said you didn't get seasick. Remember, this is something I always talk about. I think first-time cruisers, I understand why, get very, uh, uh, what's the word? Not obsessed, but they get very worried about getting seasick on their cruise. And people that have cruised a lot will tell you that, yeah, you could get seasick, but it really shouldn't be like in your top like 20 concerns. It's a much more lower concern. But I think first timers probably place it in their top 10 because they've never been on a cruise before. They're not sure what to expect. But to Jay Smith's point here, it's less likely for you to happen than it will happen. So, uh, Jumpman, should I bring my own basketball on Freedom? No, they've got their own for you to use on the basketball court. Not to worry about that one. Uh, let's see here. Next question is from, hey, Tony Diaz is here. Welcome. Uh, Beverly wants to know, can you bring a Starbucks gift card from home and use it on the Starbucks on the ship? Yes. You can use your Starbucks gift card to pay for drinks and earn rewards, Beverly, but you cannot earn, you cannot redeem rewards. You can do that afterwards, but you can't redeem rewards on board the ship. You can absolutely use a gift card to pay for Starbucks drinks on board. Yep. Uh, Nimus wants to know, what the heck is a group cruise? Basically, it's a Royal Caribbean cruise in which I invite all of you to come join me for it. We do two a year, and we've got a couple coming up. Actually, we have two still in this year, uh, and we've only announced one for 23 and 24. Basically, it's a Royal Caribbean blog cruise in which we sail together and we get to experience things. We have events on there. More information at royalcaribbeanblog.com slash events. Uh, let's see here. Lieutenant LT Smash or Lieutenant Lieutenant Smash or LT LT Smash. Either way, thank you for the for your uh, super chat. Do you think the beachside cabanas have an impended view of the floating cabanas at Cocoa Beach Club? No, Um, I actually stayed in one. 
um, that had uh, a beach cabana at Coco Beach Club the last time I was there. And yeah, the beach, the 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 floating cabanas were definitely visible from where we were right in front of us. But you know, there's a there's a gap between the beach and the and the water and then the floating cabana area. But I don't think it really impeded the view. I mean, I guess if you have this, uh, listen, if it's really important to you to have absolutely nothing except for beach and ocean, yeah, that could be a problem for you. I don't think it's a big deal. I think it's still absolutely stunning, and we really enjoyed our time there. And, of course, the prices are uh, are, are significantly better. So, Sam Watson, have you heard anything about fuel charges starting? No. Um, Royal Caribbean said, remember when gas prices started going up a couple months ago and the price of oil went up? Anyway, Royal Caribbean said they were not going to implement. They have no plans to implement a fuel sur surcharge. Royal Caribbean does not buy gas or fuel, diesel fuel, um, in the same way we buy gas. When you buy gas, you drive around, and you go to the gas station, you fill up the car. Diesel fuel is um, Royal Caribbean actually hedges it, which means they buy it like well in advance, which means they get to have a fixed, predictable price for X amount of time in advance, and that's many, many months. So they they there's an the advantage is in a market like this where prices are high, they get to lock in a lower rate. When prices go down, they don't take advantage of it, but it still gives that more of an even keeled approach right there. So hope that makes sense. Uh, next we have a question from uh mayimism mayimism thank you for the super chat is tapas and vintages including ultimate limited dining i don't believe so i've never tried doing that the tapas and vintages are very limited i would not like plan to go there for a meal um i the only time i've ever had tapas there i'll be honest with you was before the dining packages and we just paid all a cart for them so i'm not 100 percent sure on that but i don't think so uh, next question is from Dan Kent. Dan, thank you for the super chat. Alert of the season six days. So excited for our first away ship. Any last minute tips or advice? I mean, just look up, you know, past cruise compasses, learn as much about the ship. Make sure you have shore excursions plan. And that's a really big one to take advantage of. So you know what you're doing right there. Hillary wants to know, can I use my travel agent book with the group for the Panama Canal cruise? You can, um, keep in mind, there may be some special events that you will not be allowed to do. A majority of the events, Hillary, you'll be able to join us for. I was never one to be like, oh. We're doing a group cruise. If you don't book with our travel agent, you can't be part of it. No, come on, guys. I mean, if you have a good travel agent and you love them, that's fantastic. Good for you. Um, we want you still to come join us for it. We want to be inclusive, not exclusive. But obviously, there's going to be some benefits for folks that book into the group. But no, Hillary, you absolutely are more than welcome to join us for it. Uh, let's see here. Next question is from uh, Shonda, who wants to know, are there any perks of having a grant suite on any of the ships? Yes. Depending on the ship, uh, it depends on the ship. On the Oasis and Quantum class ships, you actually get like complimentary internet. Um, but on all the ships, the Grand Suite, you actually can order room service complimentary. You can also order room service in the main dining room. Uh, you obviously get access to the concierge lounge, double crown and anchor points. There's some significant benefits for being in a Grand Suite or even higher for that matter. Stacey wants to know, do I know when the Nassau is due to complete the port area? I don't, unfortunately. I'm sorry. I don't know the answer to that one. Todd, thank you for the super chat. If sailing from a non-US port like Southampton, is the at-home Binax now test still accepted or a different type of test required? No, all you need is the same test requirements there. So, um, you know, the vaccine requirements may differ, Todd, in certain countries. I would double check those, but the uh, you can definitely bring those and do the test from anywhere you have an internet signal. It does not matter. You don't have to be in the US in order to, um, to, uh, to, to do so. So, um, Let's see here. The Teresa McChain. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, was exposed to living next to Alice this weekend. Now I get it. You got to. I can't explain. it. I certainly cannot explain it here on a family friendly channel. But I'm glad to. Not, I'm glad to know that you understand it now. Hey Jeff, uh, going to Alaska next month. Can you get off the ship without a roller coaster excursion? Yes, you can. Um, yeah, that was a rule like last year. But anyway, that that's gone now, Jeff. So not to worry at all. Sean, thank you for the awesome super chat. Appreciate it, buddy. First roller coaster cruise Sunday on Oasis. What would you would you recommend booking all dinner reservations on the first day? Yes, you. I, not only do I recommend it, you really need to do that, Sean. So definitely do that on the um, on the first day. In fact, I would do that like as soon as you get on board the ship. It's that important because they cancel out. Mister Mania, thank you for the super chat. Just did Western Symphony and we loved it. Uh, booked Western Caribbean symphony. I get it. anyway, booked Western Caribbean Odyssey and looking for an all inclusive at Falmouth and Georgetown. Please, no bamboo in Jamaica. Now, that place stinks. I don't know. Falmouth, listen. Um, first of all, thank you for your generosity. Second of all, I don't know. There was a place called the Hilton Rose Hall that I went to years ago. I don't know if it's still there, if it's an option. That's where I would start. Also, resortforaday.com. Resort 
for a day.com is where you want to look for all inclusive. That's always where I look right there. Uh, let's see here. Neil is 383 days from Eurodam, which is a hall in America. Uh, you inspired me to go through Hal to see Glacier Bay. Don't know if that was my intention, but that's a hey, good a, a cruise is better than no cruise. Even if you're on Holland America right there. Uh, Ron Ladowski. Flattery will get you everywhere. Thank you, Ron. I appreciate it. Justin, thank you for the super chat. Any news on navigator pool heaters being fixed yet? I don't think they were they ever heated. Uh, nope, no news. So the best I can tell you, Justin, is unfortunately I don't have a, any update on that one way or another. Wasn't even aware it was an issue, but um, sorry. And Keno, thank you for the super chat. Going to Independence on Friday, first time in 10 years. What's your go-to drink to start the voyage? Oh, uh, Lava Flow with Kraken Rum. Make sure you ask for Kraken Rum. Lava Flow is a good drink. It's a pina colada with a fruit mixture in there, but Lava Flow with Kraken Rum. It will change your life, Keno. Have a great, great time. Uh, Brian says, been hearing that certain brands of alcohol are not being stocked, like Crown Royal. Go on on Harmony in June. Have you heard of this? Yes, I have heard of this. And I've seen it in some cases. It's been hit or miss, Brian. Some ships, sometimes they have it. Once they only have it, one they don't. Um, you know, it, it's just supply chain issues that, quite frankly, every company is dealing with. So I can't promise you, Brian, that your cruise in June will or will not have it. But the good news is a lot of supply chain issues are getting better as we move forward here. But um, yes, I've heard of it. No, I can't promise you or tell you definitively what you should expect on board. Um, but they do a pretty good job of stocking most of the stuff. Uh, Glenn wants to know, and never brought a kid on a cruise. How much of a hassle is it to get them in Adventure Ocean? It's really easy. Go on. Here's what you want to do, Glenn. Day one at one o'clock, go to Adventure Ocean, sign them up. This is a registration. It's pretty basic name information, any important information you need to provide the counselors. Also, your kids get to meet the counselors and see the space, which is really helpful. Then seven o'clock every night, show up to Adventure Ocean, drop them off. Easy peasy. It is really, really nice. And it's gotten a lot better. You may have heard horror stories from earlier this year and late last year with limited capacity adventure ocean that was a hassle that's all gone now so you don't have to worry too much about that uh let's see here shannon any tips for working remotely on allure 11 days on a back-to-back -back? oh boy i would find i mean the, there's an internet connection everywhere but i do find sometimes the internet connection is better shannon number one when you're close to a to a hot spot so depending on like you know a lot of people tend to work from their staterooms um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's a router like close by. So I might, number one, I would look for places that are closer to routers. Number two, I generally find less network congestion in places where, uh, there's less people generally. So as an example, uh, the solarium at night, the pool deck in general at night, a lot less people might be a good option for you, but otherwise just let your work know, like I'm here, but internet's being wonky. So just bear with me. Cause there can be some, you know, things like this occasionally it does go out. But it comes back. So, yeah. Lucille's a new cruiser. What do you recommend I spend the pre-cruise $50 on? Ooh. Internet service. I mean, if you don't want to spend anything more than 50 that's a pretty good use of your money. Yeah. I would say so. I mean, I would also argue, Lucille, honestly, a really, like, a shore excursion. Because internet's fun and amazing, and I love the internet. I'm a nerd. I know. Shocking. With, with these kind of good looks. You're like, what? Matt, you're a nerd? I know. It's crazy. Um, <coughs> but, <coughs> but a shore excursion is really what it's all about. Like, I might even say, you know what, Lucille, forget the internet for a second. Book an awesome shore excursion. It's not going to cover the cost of it, but it'll help. And if you're going to buy one thing on board, I would probably say you want to do a, um, a, a a pretty fun shore excursion would be definitely the way to go right there. It's really what cruising is all about. Dave and Sherry, thank you for the super chat. 216 until Oasis just got off Harmony. Everything was excellent. Made the rookie mistake of booking a Zoomy on main dining room lobster night. Oh boy, that's usually the second formal night. Had a late seating, so ended up doing both. Thanks for all you do. Listen, thank you, Dave and Sherry. And you know what? Sometimes you got to man up, put on the stretchy pants, and have two dinners in one night, honey. I, I don't like it, but um, we got no choice here. We're going to have two dinners tonight. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Brett, you know, my friend, <sighs> the attitude's not necessary. I understand where you're coming from, but making s snarky comments at the expense of other people in the chat is not only insulting it's um it's rude so knock it off you don't have to watch i got news for you you can go somewhere else i appreciate you here i want you here but please don't be a jerk that's all thank you uh next we have a uh a super chat coming in from brian hey matt do you know if the 18 add-on 
uh, is totally split among the crew, or does Rollercoaster take a percentage? We always tip our wait staff, room steward, maitre d, and room service extra. Just curious. It's a great question, Brian. I have not seen any definitive information one way or another. I, for full disclosure, I always do my automatic gratuities. I pay those. In addition to that, I will tip cash to certain crew members. You know, on a case by case basis, where it, where it merits it. Um, I certainly. Let me put it this way, Brian. No crew members ever told me don't pay the automatic gratuities for, because out of some concern that it goes somewhere else. Um, I feel confident that the gratuities go where they're supposed to go. I also feel that if a certain crew member, whether it's my stateroom attendant, maitre d', waiter, really steps up and is like, you know what, this person is really going the extra mile here. Yeah, we're going to tip this extra money. I almost always tip the wait, the uh, our room attendant anyway cash in addition to the extra gratuities because – if you've met my kids, or more to the point, if you've seen our stateroom after we leave each day where the kids have been in, that person deserves some extra money. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right there. Uh, Zach, I only know that Oasis is on her way. Oh, well, back in Florida. I'm sorry, Zach. Um, I don't remember exactly which month she comes back. It's in the fall. Not a great answer, but um, because you asked me exactly, but I don't know that. But it's, it's this fall um let's see next question is from jay uh help going on alaska is in august on ovation does the ship have a zumi hibachi or just a zumi sushi it has a zumi sushi so still good but it's not hibachi yeah uh phantom fox wants to know my thoughts on casitas on wonder just paid 159 for a c day listen if you listen i wouldn't pay it but i'm not like a let's go spend the whole day at the pool kind of person that's not my style if that is your style, great. I mean, listen, I, I pay for cabanas all the time, Phantom Fox. And people think that I'm crazy for booking those, that you know, at Coco Key or Labadee. But if I'm going to spend the whole day there, to me, that's worthwhile. If you're going to spend the whole day at the pool and you want to have reserved seating just for you and your family and a little bit of service and some shade, hey, that's the worst thing to spend your money on. So um, that's the best way I can say it right there. Uh, next question is from Lunchbox. Who wants to know, are there ice cream machines open? Yes, they are indeed. Um, oh no, sir, sir, 5574 just tested positive for COVID using an at home test today. My cell is May 15th. Should I be okay? Um, well, here's the you have to talk to Royal Caribbean about this because there is a certain time in which you cannot test positive for COVID within uh prior to your cruise. I believe it's about 14 days. So, um, I would do this, sir, 5574. I would go get a PCR test like tomorrow to ensure that, you know, it's not a false positive. It could be that because if a PCR test comes back negative, then you probably don't have COVID unless you have symptoms. If you have symptoms, you know, let's, let's, let's face facts. That's what it is there. The good news though, is that Royal Caribbean will absolutely give you a full refund or defer your cruise to another sale date. Um, but you know, you want to be the, do the responsible thing here, uh, but check what the policy is on that. I can't tell you um, what you should or should not be doing over there, but obviously if you don't have any symptoms and you have a positive, I would definitely get a PCR test just to uh just to double check on that uh let's see here michelle has been reading the alaska blog on ratings we border on friday awesome glad to hear that you've been finding it helpful michelle it's good to see you uh kim wants to know is the laser tag on freedom yes are the ice shows are there on the same each night yes on freedom of the seas they are yeah they're not done every single night but when they are offered yeah it's the same show uh, let's see here. Next question. Hey, Andrew, thank you for the super chat. I don't see a, a message from you here, Andrew. I'm, I'm looking, but thank you for the super chat. I'll keep an eye out, Andrew, uh, for your message. I don't see it. Uh, Sarah wants to know, is there a group cruise in December? There is wonder of the seas. Yes. Uh, realcomingblog.com slash events for more information about that one. Jamie says, have a question on taxes and port fees. Can they be uh, re can they lowered in reprice when found to be lower than the original reservation? Yes, they're usually automatic when that happens. Jamie, that's um uh, the most common scenario is not. The, I mean, occasionally they do go down the port fees, but uh, in a situation where the itinerary changes, sometimes the new replaced port is cheaper or there's a sea day and then they will automatically be refunded to you. Yeah, it's not necessarily a thing you have to do. Usually Royal Caribbean does it on their own. So, yes. Um, let's see. Uh, next question is from Terry. Our first cruise is on Harmony. It was awesome. Booked another for September. My question is, have you done the sale and snorkel excursion offered? Thanks in advance. I have not. 
but uh, maybe someone in our chat has that can give you an idea, Terry. If anyone has on this excursion, please let them know uh, about that. Um, Ron wants to know, is there any information about Icon of the Seas? Not yet. Um, hopefully we'll have some, as soon as we know about it, trust me, I will share it everywhere, but no updates to share, my friend. Oh, uh, by the way, for this snorkel one, where is it? It's in Nassau. Um, I've not done that one either. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Um, let's see here. Next question is from, oh, Don Morris. Thank you, Don, for the super chat. Finally went on to Maya Chan. It was awesome. Thanks for the advice. Love Maya Chan. Maya Chan is an all-inclusive uh, resort in Costa Maya. It's not booked through Royal Caribbean. You have to book it on your own, but it is absolutely worthwhile. Love it so, so much. It is wonderful. Uh, Marcus wants to know, should my friend make her own account for the app? Yeah, I would say so. It just makes everything easier. There's no reason not to. So, Betty Eakin, thank you for the epic super chat. Woo! Thank you. Thanks for all the information. Really enjoy your postings. Thank you, Betty. I really appreciate your support. Um, you're overly generous, more than I deserve, but thank you, thank you, thank you, Betty. I really appreciate you, and thank you for being here. Uh, the Tony Diaz with an epic super chat. Woo! Thank you, Tony. Six days till Oasis with family, 32 to Ovation, can't sleep. By the way, Tony, you missed a question for you. Somebody want to know what numbers you usually bet on, Tony. Let them know in chat what your usual uh, booking numbers, uh, book, the, the numbers you, you bet on on roulette are. hope I said that right. <clears throat> Um, let's see here. Joe wants to know if you have my time dining, can you make a reservation for dinner still? Do you dinner at a specialty restaurant? Yes. Um, if you have my time dining, you make a reservation for the main dining room. That's the whole idea is you can either make a reservation or show up either one. So hopefully that answers your question there. Ariana, thank you. Uh, first time. Welcome. Uh, love what you do. Thank you very much. Is the thrill water park a perfect day at Coco Key and the dolphin encounter now? So worth it. Um, I've not, I've not done the dolphin encounter, so I can't, I tell you that, you know, I think the water park is worth it. I think so. I've done it a number of times. It's a lot of fun. You will have a great time. It is, um, it is a really, it is thrilling. And there's, and the wave pool, I think alone is worth the money. Then you've got the amazing water slides. It's great for the kids. I like it quite a bit. Uh, possum wants to know, you don't have to type in all caps, possum. I see all the messages here. Any plans for wonder of the season when she comes back in the fall, she's going to Port Canaveral. She's going to offer seven night cruises from Port Canaveral. So. Excuse me. Uh, let's see here. Next question. Uh, Dominique wants to know any recommendations for what to do at Catalina Island. I believe renting golf carts is the big thing over there. Um, I have not done it personally, but my good friend, Mr. Big Dog Ron, that's his username. I know it's weird. Um, he did that recently. We rented some golf carts. You can easily see the sites around Catalina a lot easier. So I would recommend that. If I was going there tomorrow, man, that'd be great. I would definitely be doing that. Uh, let's take a drink of water here. I need to catch up. Keith wants to know who has the better wings, Playmakers or Coco K? It's not Skipper's Grill. It's, I know what you're talking about. It's um, uh, Captain Jack's. I have, oh boy, I'm not the biggest playmate wings connoisseur. I mean, Playmakers is air conditioned, but you'll probably get the food faster at Captain Jack's. I'm going to say Captain Jack's because everything's better at Coco K. How about that? I'm going with that one right there. Uh, Marisol wants to know, can you use a Starbucks gift card? Um, there, yes. You can use your Starbucks gift card to pay for drinks on Royal Caribbean with a Starbucks kiosk. You'll earn Starbucks rewards points. You just can't redeem points. So, um, uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Ooh, uh, next question is from Rem, Remizart. Does pre <laughs> Getting choked up, Remazar, with your question. It's really touching. Does priority embarkation mean arrive as soon as boarding begins or arrive at your reserve time? I have a suite, and I'm wondering if I'm able to arrive before 2.30. Yeah, so what'll happen, I'll make this really easy for you. About a week before your cruise, you'll get an email from the concierge who will tell you exactly what time you can arrive. Usually, it means plus or minus one hour from whatever time that you got in the check-in there. So, yep. Uh... <laughs> Do you really listen to these, like the replays or my other videos at two times? I can talk even faster if you'd like to. Cue everybody saying, no, please. That's like the number one complaint I get. <laughs> Janine, thank you for the super chat. Will the testing center know what information included in the results for Royal Caribbean a waste in 13 days? No, but that's why it's important to make sure you get your result from an accredited, not just an accredited place, but you know, you've got to make, you've got to read Royal Caribbean's 
requirements and make sure that the place you're getting it from can do that. Now, Janine, if you're going to CVS or Walgreens or doing the Abbott eMed home test, no problem. That's already good to go. What you really want to be worried about, I don't know, worried about, concerned about, want to look into is if you're getting your COVID test from somewhere else, a doctor's office, uh, maybe a pop-up testing site. You need to have things like lot numbers and the CLIA number, C-L-I-A, um, and, and obviously the test date, the result, your name, it needs to be printed. No, 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 no handwriting. So, um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Gigi wants to know, how easy is it to check in without the app? My father-in-law still has a flip phone. Well, you know what? Actually, it's really easy, Gigi. You can do that on the Royal Caribbean website. Just go to royalcaribbean.com, log in, do it through there, and you're good to go. So you don't need to use the app. It's easier with the app because the app can, like, scan your passport and saves you a lot of typing. But you can do it on the website. So not to worry about that at all. Uh, Lisa wants to know, we like to do NASA, but the shuttle is sold out. Is it safe to take any Uber taxi? Oh, yeah. Very safe to do so. Absolutely. Just watch your time getting back. That's all. Um, let's see here. Next question uh, is from Leave Me on the Ship. Uh, do they still include free room service? The key? I don't I don't believe so. Um, I thought I'd read that. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, next question is from Silver's One. Thinking about Oasis with a stop in Orlando. Is there enough time for Disney or Universal? No. You get there too late in the day. And then by the time you commute from Port Canaveral to Orlando, which is about a 45 minute drive, you're, you're there too late to take advantage of most things. And then um, when, uh, and you have to get back before the parks close. So considering how much a one day pass costs to these, these theme parks, I don't think it's worth it at all. I would not recommend it. I think it's actually a waste of money, quite frankly, if you want to do that instead, um, you know, I would, I would do a cruise that goes out of Port Canaveral and then, you know, do like before or after your cruise, a visit to the theme parks. I think it's a better value for you. Um, is there a Playmakers on Harmony? No, there is not. Uh, Debbie, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. I don't see a message from you, Debbie. Debbie, 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 Debbie. I don't see a message from you, Debbie. I'm sorry. But thank you for your generosity. I appreciate it. I'll keep an eye out for one. Uh, Eric, thank you for the super chat. Hi, Matt. Thanks for all you do. I'm going on a six-night allure of the season this Sunday on the roller app. Um, Lobster Night Menu was shifted to the last night of day seven. There's no night seven. Any ideas? It's always, let me put it this way, Eric. In my experience, and I can't promise you this, but in my experience, the Lobster Night is always on the last formal night. So not the first formal night, the second one. So whatever that happens to be, if I was a betting man, I'd bet on that one. I can't promise you that, but yeah. Uh, Joe wants to know the best way to get to Galveston hotels, you know, Uber, Uber or Lyft, um, you can rent a car. There are car services, but I think Uber or Lyft is going to be your best option. Most economical option, uh, to get you there. So Megan, can you request a late check on our, on disembarkation day? Uh, no, it doesn't work that way. It's not like a hotel in that manner. Um, certainly Megan, you can ask for the latest, uh, departure time. The departure times, by the way. Whatever the time is, you don't have to leave exactly at that time. You just have to leave. That's the earliest you can leave. So, Megan, if you got an 8 o'clock departure time, but you don't want to leave until 9 o'clock or 9.30, you can do that. Keep in mind, by the way, you really can't do a whole lot. They're going to kick you out of the room by, like, 8-something in the morning. And then the dining rooms close pretty around, like, I'm going to say, let's call it 9-ish. Um, there's not a whole lot to do. But, you know, if you want to take your time because you got a later flight, I've seen that happen. You know, go to the pool deck, read a book until they start making the announcements like you need to get off the ship so uh let's see here next question is from marisol marisol thank you for the super time. i'm looking for debbie's question i don't see it uh love the channel sorry and thank you for the generosity marisol uh forgot to add to the super chat we cruise on independence in august can't wait diamond members finally congratulations it's a huge deal when you get to diamond it really opens up so many options for you and saves you a lot of money those free drinks my goodness absolutely love it uh next question is from oh jeremy wants to know any idea what where it is <laughs> when the drink package prices might go down i didn't listen to you and book early now i'm just hoping for a sale um there's sales every couple of weeks jeremy usually around like holidays so i would imagine at the worst we're gonna have another sale memorial day weekend but remember jeremy two things number one if you want the drink package Book it now. If there's a better price for Memorial Day or some other time, you can cancel and rebook with no penalty. So, number one. Number two, no matter what the price is before the cruise, um, it will be cheaper than if you wait to book it on board the ship. So, 
some other food for thought there. But learn. I understand you could have gotten it cheaper before, but book it. I would book it now. Lock in the price. Better price. You can always cancel and rebook, and the price goes up. You're guarded against it. If you change your mind, you, say, you know what, Matt? I booked it, but it's just too expensive. You can always cancel it before the cruise. So you've got some some leeway on that one. Uh, let's see. Next question. Oh, Brandy wants to know what's a must do in Victoria. Definitely the. Uh, Oh gosh, the um, the garden. Uh, there's a word for it. I can't think of it. Uh, it's like a really fancy garden area. It's really beautiful. Uh, whatever that you know, you're all typing in chat. Whatever that garden place is, do that one. Do not do the castle. It was overrated. I thought it's an old house, not really a castle, and that was a waste of time and money. But the the gardens were really pretty. Try to get there as early as you can. Um, let's see, Robert. Thank you for the super chat, Robert. Thanks, Matt, for your chats. They're entertaining and informative. I love watching every week. We booked Maya Chan for our stop in Costa Maya. Can't wait. You're in for an awesome, awesome time there. They do such a nice job. The staff is amazing. Say hello for me. I'm extremely jealous because I would love to go there. Um, they're remodeling this summer, and I'm not going to be able to go there when I go in September. I'm really bummed about that. But they do a great, great job. Um, ah, Steve, you're a, you're a Connecticut, New York City guy. Huh? Two times speed all the way. Love Connecticut people. Love that. Go. Love it. Uh, Christina Watson is going on ovation in July for Alaska. Uh, are all junior suites ocean view? Yes. Is it worth it for a roll up from a balcony to a junior suite? Depends on how much it is. Don't forget, just because you do roll up doesn't mean you actually get it. But depending on how much it is, sure, it could be. Depends on your budget, quite frankly. I mean, there's an argument. The argument, especially in Alaska, is, you know, if you, could you take that money and instead book like another awesome shore excursion? I'd rather do that. I think it's way more important than the size of your balcony or your room. So, yep. Um, hope that makes sense. We got to catch up with our super chats here. Um, oh, Jarrett, thank you for the super chat. What's the earliest time you can check in on the day with the app internet? Does it start at midnight? Yes, it does start at midnight. So whenever they open it up, it'll be at midnight. I'll be honest with you, Jarrett, you don't have to check in at midnight. Wait till you know the next morning. You'll have plenty of good times there. Uh, but if you if it's really important to you to do that, just get it knocked out of the way. Yeah, midnight would be the time. Thank you for the thank you for the um uh your generosity. I appreciate it. Scott Mendoza, I'm a longtime DCL fan, but considering trying out Royal Caribbean. Which Royal Caribbean ship should I try for the Caribbean or the Bahamas? Ooh. Um, that's a good question. I mean, I I always tell people in general the oasis an oasis or quantum class ship, Scott. So like wonder or Odyssey, or Harmony of the Seas would be a really good choice, I would say. So how about that? Um, let's see. Next question is from Kayla. Hey, Matt, I bought the ticket, and I watched your videos after. Is it too late to have an agent help? Uh, if you Depends on when you book, Kayla. I would definitely reach out to a travel agent and let them ask them what they can do for you. You never know. Um, if you just booked it recently, yeah, you have a certain amount of time. I believe it's 60 days to transfer it. So, um, yeah. Hey, Desiree, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate Dizzy Face. <laughs> I'm not doing that for everybody afraid it's Dizzy Face, but. <laughs> uh, Brian wants to know, does my wife need separate logins for the app? Uh, only if she's staying in a separate room for you. Otherwise, you can just share one. It's totally fine. Uh, Eddie Fuentes. Hi, Matt. I hope all is well. I enjoy watching your channel. Always great information. Thank you very much. When can I start my check-in time? I like to do it as soon as possible. About 45 days out is usually what you're looking at, Eddie. And Desiree again with another super chat, Dizzy Face. Thank you, Desiree. Appreciate you. Um, let's see. You know, John, uh, just leave Brett alone, okay? I mean, Brett learned his lesson, and he's behaving himself. Bootshark Gardens, by the way, so leave him alone. Uh, Bootshark Gardens is the place. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And good to see you, Richard. Hope you're doing well, my friend. Uh, Bootshark Gardens is the place in Victoria to do that. So, Julie wants to know, have you ever done uh, Paradise Beach in Cozumel? I have. I'm a big fan of that place. I love it quite. I've been there a number of times. I think it's great. If I was going to, to if I was going to Cozumel and I want to do a beach day and I don't necessarily want an all-inclusive, Paradise Beach is where I would go. Absolutely. Uh, let's see. Next question. Lots of questions. All right, we're just going to put that guy in timeout. Everyone's got to go to their own corners now. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, next question. <laughs> Kim wants to know, is Escargo serving the main dining room on Adventure? Yes, 
every day. It's on the uh, it's on this it's on the signature, the classics menu. So absolutely, every day in the main dining room for dinner, you will find escargot. Absolutely, guys in chat, who's a big escargot fan? Type me in capital letters if you love or at least will eat escargot at least once on a cruise. It's a an acquired taste certainly, but it's such a real it's such a cruise food, you know. Hey, Jay Smith again. Thank you for the super chat. Uh, I just wanted to recommend not to be afraid to cruise solo on Oasis. I met other fun solo cruisers in the ship. Crew were extra nice and helpful to us. Great advice. And first of all, thank you for your generosity. But th th it's really good information. A lot of people who are considering going on a cruise by themselves are a little leery of it because they're worried about the experience. They feel ostracized or whatever. But it, it really is the opposite of that. So I'm really glad to hear you had an awesome time on there. Fantastic. Uh, Debbie, thank you again for the super chat. Um, I don't see a message here. Hey, Rena is here. It's good to see you, Rena. Hope you're doing well. 20 Days of Freedom. Have you tried out the new Margaritaville Resort in NASA? I have not, but one of our writers, um, Marcy did. We have a review, Rena, at royalgreenblog.com. So, Rena, if you just Google Royal Green Blog, Margaritaville Resort, NASA, you'll find the full review over there. The food is not great, but the rest of the, the pool and stuff is really fun. So I think that's really the takeaway from there. Um, ooh, let's see. We got uh, another super chat from Desiree. New lettering in red, orange, and yellow. Okay. Thank you for your generosity. I appreciate it. Uh, Kevin is going on Symphony of the Seas. Is it a good ship? It's a great ship, my friend. You're going to have an awesome, awesome time. Uh, Debbie, thank you again for your super chat. I don't see messages here. Um, I'm not sure why sometimes the messages and not anything else comes up here, but apologize. Uh, next question is from Keith Bruce. And he says, what to do in Ensenada? Uh, wineries are very popular. I think a lot of people end up, I think most people, Keith, honestly, just walk up the ship and go to one of the bars nearby and have a jolly old time. But if you want something that's not going to a bar and drinking in Mexico and eating tacos, um, although you can't eat tacos elsewhere, the winery, there's also a natural geyser that's pretty popular there. I think those are the two big things right there. Good Life 88. This is a hot subject question. Ooh, hot. Okay. I'm sailing Alaska late December. Do you think COVID pretests will still be happening? You might as well have asked me, Do I? can I give you winning lottery number predictions? No one knows the answer to that, Good Life. I certainly don't. And anybody tells you, like, I think this is just, again, I might as well just tell you, here's the winning lottery numbers for next week because I've got no basis for giving you those numbers and I have no basis for telling you what I think the protocols will or will not be for later in the season. My advice. Plan on whatever you have right now. Plan on there being uh, pre-cruise testing. Plan on there being vaccine requirements until further notice. When it goes away, hey, great. But I, I think the worst thing, or not the worst thing, but something you shouldn't get in the habit of doing is getting your hopes up like, ooh, I'm going to bet on it, on the protocols changing when they don't, then being upset or disappointed in there. So, yeah, that's my advice for you. Uh, Kat says, solo travelers use half the resources but pay close to twice the price. Yeah, unfortunately, or however you want to look at it, Kat, it's just the way the cruise industry is because the cruise industry is based on double occupancy. So this isn't like um, admission to a theme park where, you know, when you go uh, to Walt Disney World and you buy a ticket, as a solo person, you buy one ticket for you because you take up one space on each, on, on the ride, in the, in the vehicle, right? And anywhere else there. But... When you talk about cruise lines, the cruise ships are based on double occupancy. That's just the model they've used historically and they've always used. So that's why that's the case. And it's not going to make you feel any better. I don't, trust me, I don't expect you to be like, oh, that's okay, Matt, and I'm going to pay this money. But I hope you understand why that's the case because it, it's just, it is what it is. So, uh, Kristen, thank you for the super chat. Uh, my wife and I, my wife and I arrived, sorry, I had a brain fart there. Wife and I arrived home this morning for our first ever cruise on Anthem, and now we have three booked. One is a suite to Alaska. Any advice how to level up quickly? Does the Royal Korean credit card help? The credit card actually doesn't help you move up Crown and Anchor Society. The easiest, best way to move up in Crown and Anchor is to stay in suites. Suites get you double points, bar none. It's the best strategy out there, Kristen. So, yeah, if you want to, if it's important to you to move up in Crown and Anchor Society faster, then staying in suites is absolutely the way to go. And of course, cruise often is, is something else to do right there. Um, we got a lot of, a lot of people, Erica and a lot of people are big, uh, escargot fans, huh? Keith Bruce. Thank you for the super chat, Keith. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Eric. 
Thank you for the super chat. One more question. I have a one bedroom aqua theater on alert leaving Sunday. Why should I expect an email from the sweet concierge about a week ahead of time, Eric? Have an awesome time. It's a great room and uh, take advantage of what the concierge has to offer you. Really, really nice. Uh, Betty Eakin, your, uh, your husband. So Betty doesn't, for those keeping score at home, Betty doesn't eat the escargot, but Betty's husband does. It's an acquired taste. I get that. Uh, let's see. Jade wants to know, is lobster tail available on the main dining room on one night? Unfortunately not. Um, they're only available when you do a cruise that has two formal nights, which requires a cruise to be at least like five or six nights in length. So it will not be there for you, Jade. Our Confrad, thank you for the super chat. Love cruise, the symphony of the seas or wonder. Oh boy. I mean, they're both great. They're both very similar. I would pick Wonder personally because it's just the latest and greatest and newest and it's the new hotness and it's exciting. Sorry, all this water. <laughs> I swear it's water, by the way. Some of you, some people think it's not water, but it's water. Um, Symphony will probably be cheaper. So if you're on a budget, you might get more value out of Symphony of the Seas. But if you had it, she'd say, man, I don't care about any of that stuff. I gotta, I'm got i going to pick one. Well, the answer is both, but the, but I would book wonder first, but they're both really good. Please do not take that as a slight on a symphony. It's a great ship. Love it. But you asked my opinion on that. Uh, let's see. Jesse wants to know, is there anything on the main dining room menu is ever, sorry, is everything on the main dining room menu included or are there things you have to pay extra for? Almost everything is included. There's usually at the bottom of the menu, Jesse, there's a filet mignon and a, and a lobster that you can pay extra for. Um, that comes from shops grill, but everything else on the menu is included. Not drinks, obviously, like you know, alcohol or whatnot, but you knew that. Uh, super chat's coming in from Brogan. Brogan, thank you for the super chat. Four days to the cruise on Odyssey. Have an awesome time, Brogan. I'm very jealous of you. I'm sure this week is going by very, very slowly for you. Uh, let's see. Next super chat coming in is from Justin Carr. Uh, we booked a beach club cabana next week. Are the drinks in the fridge included if you have the drink package? Yes, if you have the drink package, yes. How often do they refill it? As often as you ask them to refill it. Love the escargot, especially dipping the bread in the juice. Oh, yeah. Actually, my I, I do that as well. When, you, when you're eating escargot, the go-to move is get a roll, a bread roll. Oh, I would cut it in half. I would scoop out said, or you either scoop it out and dump it in your bread or take said bread and like smear it into the escargot, scoop it on up, and mum, 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 mum. So good. Definitely the way to go. Bread plus escargot. Definitely the pro move right there. Justin, thank you for your very generous super chat. I appreciate you. Uh, Ken says, hey, Matt, online check-in won't accept my vaccine information. Any suggestions? Um, don't worry about it. Just bring it to the, I mean, you have a vaccine card and you know about it. Just do it in, in the terminal. It's not a big deal. You know, it's just, it can save you a little bit of time, but don't look like, oh gosh, you're behind the eight ball or anything like that. Um, if you truly want to try to get it to work, because why not? I would go somewhere, get a different background. Make sure you have plenty of lighting, like natural, or turn your lights on. Um, try that. If there, if you have a plastic sleeve, if it's laminated, try to reduce the glare. Things like that. Uh, let's see here. Andrew wants to know, is Rogan still building that private island near Australia? Yeah. Um, uh, Perfect Day at Aleppo. It's still in the plans. So I'm not sure they're doing actual construction, Andrew. But it is still planned to be done. Let's put it that way. Uh, Ter Ter Terry, I'm sorry, Terry. Uh, thank you for the super chat. Or not super chat. Thank you for the question. There's no super chat, but thank you for the question. I'm considering cruise on explore, but read some negative comments about it. All right, stop right there. I'm going to go on a rant. I've, you may not have heard this rant, Terry, but it's worth mentioning. Terry, I want you, I want you to go to Google and I want you to Google great wall of China. Just trust me, Google great wall of China. And if you're on your computer, I'm not sure how it looks on a phone, but on a computer, you're going to see the Google review. And the reviews of Google, the Google reviews, Terry, are a, 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 a aggregation of reviews. The Great Wall of China, last I checked, had 4.1 stars, I think, maybe two. But the Great Wall of China, one of mankind's greatest achievements in the world, is not rated five stars. That is all you need to know about online reviews. And one person or two people or eight people or 20 people saying, I don't like Explorer of the Seas. So what? It doesn't matter. Those people could be completely biased, ridiculous, or anything else in between. It means absolutely nothing. Would I recommend Explorer of the Seas? There's not one ship in the fleet I would not recommend. I have sailed on Explorer. 
saw him twice. I think twice. Alaska and then out of New York once. Um, it's a fun ship. Does it have all the bells and whistles that some of the other ships have? No. Make sure that when it comes to picking any ship, Terry, make sure the ship that you, you're picking has the amenities you're looking for. You know, if you're looking for water slides, well, Explorer doesn't have it. So if that's important, then book a different ship. But it's still an inherently fun ship and a good ship to go on. But pay no attention to online reviews. They're a complete waste of your time. They're, if you want to read them for entertainment purposes, more power to you. Nothing wrong with that. But just remember, online reviews are, you know, the people give one-star reviews to, you know, when they have no, you know, for, for silly reasons, right? So, yep. Um, disregard them. Scott, uh, I sell my first cruise in three weeks. Been watching way too many Royal Caribbean blog videos. Thank you very much, Scott. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you'll have an awesome, awesome time. David wants to know, when choosing a cabin, higher or lower decks? It doesn't matter. I, I certainly don't think about it. I think it's more a question if you want to be closer in terms of, like, you know, being able to walk faster to the pool deck or maybe to the promenade or the centrum, depending on which ship you're on. Um, if you're particularly sensitive to motion sickness, I would say a lower deck. But otherwise... It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really factor into when I choose my rooms, quite frankly. Uh, Debbie, thank you for the super chat. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ainsley, good to see you again. Thank you for the super chat. First Royal Green Cruise, October 2012, Oasis of the Seas. Can't wait to revisit 11 years later as an Emerald member. You're going to have an awesome, awesome time, Ainsley. Thank you for your generosity. I appreciate you. Uh, we are got to catch up on some super chats here. Remizart. Thank you again for the super chat. Uh, th thank you very much for your generosity. I appreciate you. Valencia, thank you for the super chat as well. Checked the end of the app for 1130. A week later, my time disappeared. Had to recheck for 1230. Hmm. Any suggestions how to get 1130 back? No. Uh, if it's not there, it's not there. That's really weird. So you had 1130? Like, I mean, you when you went to do it, I mean, I'm sure you did, but like you saw like, you know, you confirmed it. You didn't just, I, very strange. Um, no, I've never seen that before. But to answer your question, no, and, and unless you see it there, you don't see it there. But um, the fact that you have a screenshot, I mean, it's nice, but it's not going to do you any good. So it's not the end of the world. 1230 is not like you're missing out on all the fun. I know you're going to be, when, it, when it's 1130, you're like, I wish I was on the ship. You still have a great time on there. But, um, you know, keep an eye on it. You know, if somebody cancels, which does happen every now and then, maybe something shows up there. So you never know. Heck, I might check Valencia. Um, uh, you can check now, obviously, uh, um, regularly. But in the last two days before the cruise, maybe uh, somebody, you know, unfortunately tests positive for COVID, they cancel the reservation. All of a sudden, the times will show up there. So keep that in mind. Andrew wants to know when will Oasis arrive in New York? Uh, she's on her way as we speak. So there you go. Uh, let's see. Jared wants to know, do any ships or any, any venues on any ships broadcast pay-per-view events? They do not. If you want to do that, you probably want to stream it on your device. That's probably your only recourse if that's available. We're caught up on the super chats. Let's answer some more questions. We got time for, oh, we're already over an hour? Holy moly. All right, one or two more questions, guys. We got to head on out of here. Zach, uh, you never mentioned Symphony when talking about a waste class. Is that not nice to the others? No, nope, not at all. They're all great. There's not one I wouldn't recommend. It's a wonderful ship. Please don't read anything into it other than the fact that I don't know. We just don't talk about it, but it's not because it's not, this is not a, we don't talk about Bruno situation. This is a, um, this is just, I just haven't talked about symphony, uh, for whatever reason, but it's nothing. Don't read anything into that. So, and, uh, last question. Ooh, we're going to go here with, uh, Pedro. What if you made the mistake of booking your flight the same day of your cruise? and cannot change it for X, Y, Z reason. I hope a couple, number one, you definitely want to get travel insurance if you haven't already. Number two, I really hope you have like the first flight of the day um, because that way you mitigate your chances of a delay or something missing the cruise. I mean, at the end of the day, Pedro, it is what it is. There's not much else I can do and tell you. I Like I said, I would get travel insurance to guard against a potential issue, potentially. Make sure the policy covers things like, you know, trip interruption. Um, but as well, I would also think it's really important for you to uh try to get the earliest flight of the day if you have if you're gonna fly the same day with your cruise you want ideally you want the flight where the plane gets in the night before and you're on that first flight if that's available to you the, that morning that would be the ideal situation right there and we have a we have a some super chats coming at the very last minute danny di mateo thank you danny for your generosity and super chat thank you buddy i really appreciate you 
And Tommy coming in with an epic super chat. Woo! It's just like Tony Diaz giving you one star on your singing, right? You can't trust online reviews. 110 till Celebrity Infinity. Buddy, have some Pepe's Pizza for me. I am so jealous that you can go get that anytime you want at Mohegan Sun or other locations in the area. But thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, appreciate all of you. Um, don't forget, if I didn't get to your question, please feel free to type your question over on our message boards at royalgreenblog.com. Um, I'm going to answer. I'm going to say some thank yous before we get going here. Tommy, thank you. Danny, thank you. De Valencia, thank you. Remizard, thank you. Ainsley, thank you. Debbie, thank you. Justin, thank you. Brogan, thank you. Our Confred, thank you. Eric, thank you. Keith, Bruce, thank you. Kristen, thank you. Uh, Debbie, thank you. Desiree, thank you. Debbie, thank you. Jay Smith, thank you. Desiree times three, thank you. Jared, thank you. Robert, thank you. Marisol, thank you. Eric, thank you again. Debbie, thank you again. Janine, thank you. Chris and Jenny, thank you. Phantom Fox, thank you. Tony Diaz, thank you. Betty Eakin, thank you. Don Moores, thank you. Andrew, thank you. Brian, thank you. David Sherry, thank you. Kino, thank you. Justin, thank you. Mr. Mina, thank you. Sean, thank you. Teresa, thank you. Todd, thank you. Dan, thank you. Mayamism, thank you. LT, LT Smash. Jay Smith, again, thank you. Angela, thank you. Sharon Stockman, thank you so much. Shoshana, thank you. Andrew, thank you. Nikki, thank you. Diane, thank you. Jared, thank you. Housebroken, thank you. Jeremy, thank you. Nate, thank you. Gene, thank you. Woo! Jason, thank you. Mike, thank you. Jillian, thank you. Josh, thank you. And Shane, and also to the two people who I missed their YouTube, deleted their super chats from my history here. Thank you all so, so much. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. We'll be live again next Monday right here on YouTube. Uh, we have a new video coming out tomorrow. And... I believe we've got a ship tour coming for you later this week. So we'll keep an eye out for all that fun stuff. Until then, have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun. That's important as well. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Good night, everybody. Tony, your mom is not here. Bye, Kathy. Bye, Zach. Bye, Ariana. See you guys.